everyone it's raquel of raquel's carbon cuisine and today i'm going to be making some jamaican jerk pork authentic jerk pork slowly cook on a barbecue grill over pimento wood and loads of other spices it's juicy it's tender it's extremely delicious so here i have some pork that was nicely washed along with some herbs and spices but first i'm going to season with some salt making sure both sides of the pork are nicely seasoned and i'm using cuts of pork leg and shoulder and these parts have a bit of everything the lean the bone nice thick skin but any part of the pig would work just fine so now i'm gonna season using some dry jerk seasoning and this contains everything black pepper garlic allspice nutmeg cumin ginger this is just one of the best dry jerk on the market and the same procedure applies making sure both sides of the pork are nicely and evenly seasoned So now that these are nicely seasoned, it's time to make my famous homemade jerk marinade. The best if you should ask me. So now to a blend, I'm going to add some fresh scallion, some homegrown thyme, also some fine leaves thyme, some pimento peppers, and these gives great flavor, not spicy. Some garlic and ginger, onion, can't have a jerk marinade without scotch bonnet pepper. Use as much or as little as your tolerance some pimento seeds which is the main ingredient in our jerk marinade also known as allspice berries a bit of browning to give it that jerk color and a splash of vinegar i'm going to give this a rough blend and i'm going to add this to the pork and this is smelling amazingly delicious and you know your jerk is going to be good when the marinade itself is smelling really so good And the same procedure applies make sure the jerk marinade is in every crevice and corner and when the cuts of meat are really thick i like to poke incisions so the season could penetrate within have you ever had authentic jerk pork before the flavor is down to the very bones So now that this pork is nicely seasoned, I'm going to store it in a tight lid container in the refrigerator for overnight. Longer if you have more time. And this is how the season gets a chance to thoroughly soak within, giving you that extreme flavor. So 36 hours later, I went ahead and lit my jerk pan using charcoal and I'm going to be using this pimento wood as a shield from the direct flames, placing the pork on top of the wood, just as all the runaway slaves did in the beginning. And not only would the pimento wood protect the meat from the direct flames, but the smoke would infuse within the meat, giving it that authentic Jamaican flavor this i've been marinating for well over 24 hours so when i tell you about smelling good so when the british brought the slaves to jamaica right you had some rebellious slaves that run away up into the mountains they were later called the maroons and as to survive they would hunt wild meat and on an open flame using pimento wood from the pimento tree they would smoke their meat and this method is later led to the famous jamaican tradition so when i mention authentic i mean authentic this process is not horrid this will take about 
two and a half to three hours slowly cooking over the pimento wood and the smoke and the heat would do the job giving the meat that smoky juicy and tenderness and we're just going to give this a flip checking on them occasionally making sure the flame is not too high and try not to be opening the grill too often you want the smoke and the heat to trap inside giving the meat that thorough cook but when i tell you my backyard is smelling amazing i myself is smelling like jerk pork one hour in and these are looking and smelling good already but remember that remaining jerk marinade i'm going to use that to baste the pork as it helps to keep it nice and moist two and a half hours later and these are ready oh my goodness the smell alone would have you mesmerized these are looking really really delicious And the pimento wood they could wash and reuse so now let me see what this fuss was all about tell me this was not worth the wait my kitchen smells amazing so even though it look a little bit brown on the outside it's juicy and so moist i am drooling no lie this is really tender oh my goodness i don't even have words there you have it authentic jamaican jerk pork and this goes great with a jerk barbecue sauce so now to a container i'm going to make a jerk barbecue sauce and this is really really simple i'm going to add some barbecue sauce a bit of ketchup some of the homemade jerk marinade a bit of sugar i'm just going to mix until it's dissolved and that's it i want to thank you so very much for watching and remember if you like this video do not leave without clicking the like button also if you haven't yet subscribed go ahead and press the red subscription button and what's best to go with some jerk pork than some jamaican festival a link on how to prepare that will be listed down below in the description box